Drake Muncie was 26 years old when he was gunned down in front of his Elkhart home. This case didn't get a lot of media attention at the time, and it is still unsolved today. His family and his young son still have no idea who killed him. Maybe you can help, though. Tonight, police are releasing brand new information in this case, hoping someone will help them solve it. WSBT's Kristen Bean tells us about the life and the tragic death of Drake Muncie. My favorite author is Art Elstein. Eli Muncie why, why is like seven him? years old now. Some words that I come to, I just uh, sound it out. That's good. That's a good plan. And whatever um, I hear, I just go with it. Eli is in the advanced classes at school. He's really smart. And in fact, he's getting really good at chess. His dad, though, isn't here to see any of it. That's because four years ago, on August 2nd, 2009, Eli's dad, Drake Muncie, was shot and killed. Drake was 26 years old. He lived here on County Road 6 in Elkhart with his wife and Eli, who was three. His mom describes Drake as the center of attention, funny, but laid back. He was my boy. I mean, he and I had a very special relationship. I love all my children, but Drake just needed that little bit extra. Drake loved video games and comics. He was a loner, but loved his family, and he adored his son. He was in love with that child. In the early morning hours of August 2nd, everything would change. Police say Drake and his wife had put Eli to bed. When someone came to the door, Drake answered. Police say it was a man and that Drake went outside to talk to him. Police believe there was a fight. Gunshots rang out and Drake was shot. Someone driving by saw Drake's body in front of his house and called 911. Drake was taken to the hospital where he died. His mom believes Drake died protecting his family. Protecting his wife and kid. He didn't know what was going to happen. You know, if a guy shot him, was he going to go in and get Cheryl and the baby too? But police won't say what happened, what kind of injuries Drake had, how many times he was shot, and who brought the gun. In fact, they remain tight-lipped about many details in this case. That way, when it, that information does come in, we know that it's very reliable. But they are releasing some new information exclusively to WSBT in the hope that it will encourage people to come forward with information. There was evidence recovered in the case, and from that, we were able to obtain uh, a DNA profile of someone other than Drake. Now, police say all they have to do is match that DNA to a suspect. They say there are people of interest in this case, and it is solvable, but they need help from the public. We think there's some key people in the case that... Uh, for whatever reason, whether it be fear or just a, a lack of wishing to cooperate with the police, have not given us the information that would help lay this case out. And no one would like to see that happen more than Drake's family. I mean, he didn't just kill my son. He killed Eli's daddy, my mother's grandson, my son's brother. You know, he he just took more than he could ever know. See, that's your grandpa, your dad, and you. Three generations. Eli is four years older now. Thankfully, he doesn't remember anything from that horrible day. But it is getting harder to remember his dad. Luckily, his family won't let him forget. He remembers playing video games with his dad and he'll say things like my dad loved me and when he was a little younger he'd tell us I'm gonna be a cop and find the bad guy that shot my daddy. Everyone though hopes it won't take that long. I want face to face with him. I want him to know what he has done to my family. Now that 
police have that complete DNA profile. Every time someone in Indiana is convicted of a felony, their DNA will be checked against the DNA found at the crime scene. Now, police believe it's just a matter of time before they catch Drake's killer. You can't help but to feel so bad for his family left yeah. behind. What about his wife? Did she ever, did she see anything? Well, it, it's really hard to say, but not really. She said it was dark outside uh, when stuff started happening. She ran to the back of the house to protect Eli. That's why police say all they know for certain at this point is there was at least one person involved. So there could be more. And police want to talk to everyone who was there that right. night, everyone who knows something about what happened that night. I've put contact information for police on this story on our website. Go there and you can remain anonymous. They have that DNA evidence. They're getting closer though. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kristen.